Hi guys! Today I'm going to show you how to make this super cute IKEA loft bed in miniature. We're only going to use a few simple supplies to make this project, including popsicle sticks and coffee stirrers. Let's get started. The first thing you need is some square dowels. These are a quarter inch thick. We'll need four of these. Cut them down to seven inches in length. This will be the height of your bed. I cut them down with a miter handsaw. Sand down the ends so they're smooth. Put those to the side for now. Now grab a bunch of popsicle sticks. Take one and cut the round ends off. Cut enough off so the popsicle stick ends up being 4 inches long. I also do this with a miter saw. Make 8 of these. To make sure all 8 are exactly the same length, I rubber band them together and sand them down all at the same time. Now take 2 of those square dowels we cut and 4 popsicle sticks. Position the sticks horizontally between the dowels. Position one stick 2.5 inches away from one end and the other 3 sticks closely together at the other end. Glue them in place with wood glue. Do this for the other set of sticks and dowels too. Now you have the headboard and the footboard. Next, take two popsicle sticks. We're going to be combining these two to make a longer stick. Cut off a round end on each stick, then glue those flat ends together. Once that's dry, cut out a length of 6 and 3 fourths inches. This is what you want. Make five of these. Okay, let's start assembling these pieces. Line four of those pieces up with the same spacing as the popsicle sticks on the headboard and footboard. Glue those together. Once that's dry, you have the basic frame on the bed. Looking pretty good. Take that last 6 and 3 4 inch piece and glue it to the open side of the bed. Make sure it lines up with the third popsicle stick down from the top of the headboard. Now grab a bunch of coffee stirrers. These are a quarter of an inch in width. Cut them down to 4 and a quarter inches in length. Make a bunch of these. I ended up using 12 of these in total. Glue them along the bed frame between the third popsicle sticks down from the top. This is what will hold up your mattress. For some extra support, I made another 6 and 3 4 inch piece and glued it to the bottom of those coffee stirrers. This is shaping up really nicely. Now let's make the ladder. Glue two popsicle sticks together using the same method as before. Position it against the bed at the angle you want. Draw a straight line parallel to the ground. This will ensure your ladder stands flat. Cut that out. From that end, make a mark at a 7 and a half inch length and cut it out. Line it up against the bed and draw a line where the dowel meets the ladder. Draw a parallel line about 1 eighth of an inch away from there. Cut that out. Make two of these. These will be the sides of your ladder. Okay, let's make some steps for the ladder. From another popsicle stick, draw and cut out two 1 and a half inch sections. Do this with two more popsicle sticks so you end up with six in total. Glue them between the two ladder sides. Starting 3 fourths of an inch from the bottom, I just glue them to one side leaving a 3 fourths of an inch space in between the pieces. After that's dry, I glue the other side on. Okay, before we attach the ladder to the bed, we need to make one more piece. Create two 5 inch pieces from popsicle sticks. Then grab a coffee stirrer and cut out two 1 half inch pieces. Line the 5 inch sticks up vertically. Then place one coffee stirrer piece at one end, and then the other one 3 inches away from that. Glue them in place. Once that's dry, attach it to the open side of the bed. Now you can glue the ladder in place. Look how nice that looks! I'm going to paint this bed black so it stands out in a white room. I'm just using some black acrylic paint. I only painted on one coat and that was enough to cover the wood completely. Once that's dry, I go in with some polyacrylic varnish. And that's totally optional. I just like a glossy look to my furniture pieces. And that's it! Just add a mattress and a pillow and your loft bed is ready for your dollhouse. If you want to know how I made the mattress and the pillow, stick around for my next video where I show you exactly how I did that. I hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did and make sure to subscribe for more. I have two new videos every single week. I'll see you next time. Bye!